One of the last things I'm going to do for the Turbo Duo is add composite and stereo jacks to the back of the console. As you know, it has AV output on the side with a huge plug that sticks off from inch and a half, two inches. And that's really not very convenient. Uh, but the worst problem is is that cord is not easy to replace if you lose it or break it or say the socket itself starts uh, getting loose from abuse or it gets stepped on and cracks the solder joints, stuff like that. But the RCA type cords are easily found anywhere for cheap. So we're going to mount this to the back of the console somewhere right in here so that we'll have easy access to composite and stereo. And later if we want to we'll add maybe component or something like that right next to it. Okay. If you look at the inside of the back panel really the only good flat spot is right in here. But your little power board fit in there right about like that. So the RCA panel is going to have to be up fairly high, almost all the way against the top. And the jacks will be down from the bottom about a half inch. And that's the only way we're going to keep things from touching here. I'm going to have to bend some prongs back, of course. That's okay. So now i got a pretty good idea where it's going to be. do is just take a little drill bit, run it through those holes from the back, and put some holes through out, out the back side, and then drill larger holes for the actual mounting. And another little problem I see is that little part right there where it says DC and 9 volts and stuff, I want to get it to the right of that also. I need to be careful of that as well. I think I'm going to have to cut out some of this rib right here just to make it flush. I'll try to leave the very end since it's kind of a support gusset right there. Definitely gets me over, definitely way over far enough. Actually, I can center it between that part and this part pretty well. But I still want to keep it up to the top as much as possible. Okay, I was lucky to find that the uh, data sheet has an exact diagram of the layout. So with the two holes that I put on the back, I can just line them up with these two holes and then I can center the holes that I need for the three jacks to stick out. So I just lay that on there. 
line up the holes, put a little divot on each jack, just like that, and then I can start making those uh, 10 millimeter holes, so everything will come through just fine. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Very messy, but one of the reasons I like using the step drill is it leaves a nice clean cut on the outside here. hard to get a nice clean cut with a regular twist drill bit. Uh, the step bit, the name brand of that thing is a unibit, in case you're wanting to look for one. I think I'll just clean up the back side a little bit here. So it sits nice and flush. Bit of a fitment issue here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got my holes quite lined up just right, but be close enough. If not, I can go a little bit bigger. Looks like I might have to. I had to guess I'd say that drawing wasn't 100% accurate. Looks like the outside two holes were out a little bit too far. And my screw holes aren't quite perfect either. But if I enlarge those, maybe one or two drill sizes. Head will still catch on the case.
here, but not perfect. One more size up on the drill. It'll be tight, but it might actually work. do is solder some wires to it and then to the motherboard and slap it all together. Okay, so we're halfway there, just to be sure, I'll check continuity on my grounds, I want you to check it on the outside. Yep. We should have deposit. Okay, this is a, an easy part really. I just checked. Uh, Games X has a pinout of the AV port, which can easily be translated to the pins on the bottom side of the AV port. Let's see, pin 3 is ground. video.
off the excess. And then we can go back and test it. Okay, so we're hooked up, powered. And we have composite and stereo through the RCA jacks. Go ahead and flip the switch. Test a US card again. And here we have a US game. So, not the easiest, but not, not terribly difficult either. Okay, here it is all finished. AV jacks plugged in to composite and stereo out. Turbo Duo really does have excellent composite video. Well, there you have it.